Hello, today's video is how to upload a field experience. Remember that you access Passport by logging into your Ulink account, then clicking on the Tutoring tab. Scroll down and on the right side of the page you will see the Passport icon. Once you click on the icon, you will be brought to the Passport home screen. Once you're here, you will click Artifacts. There are several types of artifacts, but today we're doing a field experience. It doesn't matter if you click the word field experience or the icon, both yield the same results. Once you click on field experience, you will initiate new field experience. You will select template A. You will name the field experience. You can name it the school or you should check with your professor to see the naming convention that the professor prefers. You will choose a date from your, for your field experience. It cannot be a future date. You will select the course that this field experience is for. And then you will select the level, level 1, two or three. In this case it is a level one where you're observing a whole class. Next you will choose the site where you conducted your field experience at. It's an exhaustive and extensive list and it's alphabetically listed. But if you do not see your site, if you press O there is an other option. Choose a contact for this field experience. If there is no name, I often tell students to new, use the name of the teacher that you observed. This is the field experience template. You will hit edit basic info first. It is going to ask you the number of participants that you observed and how many hours you com were completing the field experience. Anything that says optional is an option and you do not need to complete it. Once you hit save, you'll be prompted to remember that you're going to have to tell the gender and ethnicity of the students you observed and that total must equal back to the total number of participants, in this case 10. Here goes the basic info. You can check here to make sure that you have the name of the field experience, the right template, the date, and the name of the teacher or your contact person. If any of that information is incorrect, you can hit edit basic info. Every field that says required, you are required to go in and edit that information. So for gender composition, you're going to put how many boys and how many girls you observed, and that total must equal back to the total number of participants. You have to edit subjects by hour. So where did you spend your time? In this case, I spent my two hours in special ed. You'll do ethnicity composition. What was the ethnic or racial makeup of the students that you observed. In this case, there were seven blacks, two whites, and one Hispanic. You'll have to do the primary subject. What was the primary subject that you were there to observe? And in this case, it was special education. And last but not least is limited English proficient. Were there any students in the class that English was not their second language. Sometimes you'll have to guess, sometimes you can listen for a thick accent. This cannot be blank. If the answer is zero, then you will put zero and hit save. Now that I've completed all the required field, fields as well as filled in the basic info, this field experience is complete. Some professors require that you add a journal entry or a reflection, but each course is different. Please defer to the professor and the course syllabus. Once you've finished everything, you hit complete field experience. And then your new field experience will be listed under completed field experience. And it puts the newest information at the bottom. 
So here goes the field experience that we just completed. Once you're done and you're ready to submit it to your professor, again, you should check with your professors on how they would like you to submit them. Some of them want you to put them into a working folio, and some of them just want you to submit just the field experience. If they want you to submit just the field experience, then right here you would hit Submit for Review. You would select the faculty member's name. In this case, this is going to Ms. Garner. You will hit Next. You can attach a note if there are some kind of special circumstances that you wanted to make the faculty member aware of. If not, leave it blank and hit Next. Double check to make sure that you have the right course and the right faculty member in any note that you might want to add. And then you'll hit Finished. Now that course, that field experience has been submitted to your professor and when you look at that field experience it will say withdraw from review if for some reason the professor tells you that you've incorrectly done it you will need to withdraw it from review and then resubmit it if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact the passport office we can be reached by email passport at louisiana.edu we can be reached by phone 482 1751 or you can come into our offices in Maxim Ducey room 314. Thank you and enjoy doing those field experiences.